Hello and welcome to a basic Lightroom tutorial. Today we're going to be covering some of the basics. Uh, we're just going to be talking about temperature and tint, um, the white balance uh, tool. Um, so with this series I was going to just go through each individual tool and just try to explain exactly what it does, what you can use it for, um, and basically everything about the tool. So today's going to be super quick because we're just going to do these two. Um, but let's get into it. All right, so temperature and tint are pretty basic. Basically, it, it takes the entire temperature, which is from blue to orange, for the entire image. Um, right now, you can see I'm way too orange, and then you can go way too blue. The idea behind this uh, tool is basically to compensate for the lighting that you're shooting in. So if you're in a shadow, um, it's gonna be more blue than in uh, direct sunlight. But here we have something that happens pretty often where the background is in direct sunlight, but your subject is in shadow. And what you normally wanna do is white balance for your subject, but uh, my camera was on auto white balance, so it went for the background. Now there's uh, a couple of easy ways you can fix this. You can actually take this white balance selector tool, and I didn't know about this for the longest time, but you can actually just click on anything that's 100% white or gray, basically anything that um, is a neutral tone um, that's not more blue or more orange. So we're gonna click on this white converse, and that actually adjusts both temperature and tint. And it actually did a really good job for this image. So that's probably what I would do for this image specifically, but let's go into calibrating it ourselves. Okay, so we can tell that we do need to change the warmth because uh, our subject is a lot cooler than our background. So let's just do that real quick. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I think for this image, I'm actually gonna make it a little bit warmer than it um, actually would in real life, just because I think that's what it would look better as. So the tent is a little bit harder because you can't really tell innately if it's too green or too purple that easily. But uh, if you just play around with it, I think you can find it. This image specifically, I think is just a little bit too green, but not by much. There we go, I think plus 26 looks good. And that's about it. That's as simple as it gets. Um, one of the easiest tools and one of the most necessary tools in Lightroom to make your images look professional. Hey, if you like that tutorial, please stick around and subscribe. I will be making more Lightroom 101 videos coming up very soon. 